YouTube, what's the deal? It's your girl Jahira and I am back. Back to talk um, a little random with y'all. The thing is, there's like, you know, a couple of things going on right now in the media and I really didn't feel like any particular one of them was deserving of a video by itself. And I just wanted to check in with y'all. I miss doing my random shit. It's been a minute. <laughs> So I hope everybody is doing okay. I am doing incredibly well. And thank you for asking, if you have. Um, there's some developing news in my life. And if you are um, a, you know, supporter of my Facebook page, you already know what it is. And if you're not a supporter of my Facebook page and would like to be, please go to facebook.com forward slash one love lounge and like my page. Dang it. <laughs> Shout out to everybody that I have on my Facebook, by the way. But yeah, so y'all already know what the deal is, but I'm waiting to reveal it to YouTube um, just, just until, you know, it, it gets a little more firmed up. But yeah, big things going on in my life, people. Big things. Um, and other than that, everything is well. I'm working hard. I'm, I'm thinking about getting another job. I'm actually thinking about, well, okay. I'm thinking about getting another job and a third job. And the third job is kind of like something that I could talk about right now. So I'm kind of considering possibly selling Avon. I like their company. They've like, you know, really updated their formulas. They've stayed very, very current and on trend with everything that's been going on like you know what i'm saying all the latest formulations and stuff like that and like they're they're a staple in americana so to speak so like what do you think what do y'all think if i was to sell avon <laughs> it just sounds so silly though like even saying it but like i really would do it you know what i'm saying if i was to sell avon and set up a website like would you buy like would you tell your friends to buy what do y'all like do you think it's a decent idea like let me know please drop it below um, cause your input like really matters, like seriously, cause it would be a new venture for me. Um, I've been a makeup artist. Oh God. Uh, 99, 2009, 2011, 12 years. Yeah. I'm great at math by the way. And, um, I, I have appreciated Avon and the fact that it's kind of like all consuming, like you get your makeup, your skincare, your hair stuff, a couple of clothes here and there. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's not just strictly like, I couldn't see myself selling Mary Kay per se. So Avon is the idea right now. At least just like kind of like a side gig. You know what I'm saying? So let me know what you think. So um, moving on. One of my subtastics had asked me to react to the May 21st doomsday um, I don't know what you would call it, rumor or, uh, blurb on pop culture or, you know what I'm saying, like this, this whole the world is ending over the weekend thing. And if it is, I should probably get my hair done before then. Um, <laughs> sorry. Shouts to Jeteria for hooking up my, uh, Sensationelle Bump 7, Bump Feather Wrap 7 seven collection in a four 33 30 and 27 year um with the invisible part which is getting kind of old so i'm almost i'm almost at the point of gapping but i think i can still probably get another two days out of it there's my part y'all there's the closure there's the fact that it just needs to be zhuzhed up a little bit but yeah, yeah, I'm not liking how wide this is getting. We might have to just come out. But yeah, quick note on the hair. Um, my stuff, my own, is like, it's just French braided and tucked under in the back. And then we molded it, and then we did the growth protector. And um, attached the weave directly to the growth protector. So essentially, I'll jump in the shower and all of this will wash out. Which will really make you afraid of the rain, by the way. But that's where that is. Um, far as May 21st, Armageddon, um, only a select number of people will be left on Earth and subject to all kinds of torment until, what do they say? 
did they say August or did they say November? This is how much attention I've been paying to it, people. When, like, the entire world will be obliterated. I mean, do I really? I mean, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't want to say that what my subtastic asked of me was, you know what I'm saying, not plausible or anything like that. But, I mean, come the hell on. Come on. Come all the way on. No, I do not believe that the world is ending over the weekend. No, I do not believe that we can accurately predict the end of the world. Yes, I do believe that ideally we should behave in a manner that would, you know what I mean, ensure, if you are a spiritual person, our entry into another dimension, be that heaven, the other side, however you define it, you know what I mean, every day, because you never know. And, uh, you know, again, according to my faith, the Bible declares no man knows the day nor the hour when when the Son of Man shall return. You know what I mean? Like, I, you just don't know. So live every day like it's your last, people. But, I mean, I, all this stocking up on bottled water and gas, gas masks and everything like that. Does nobody remember Y2K? Anybody? Anyone at all? It feels like every year since I hit 20, you know what I'm saying? There's something going on. And, oh, Lord, have mercy. The world's coming to a crashing halt. I do believe that, you know what I'm saying, certain, you know, nat the the frequency of natural disasters and, and, and things of that nature, and just really what we're doing to the planet in the first place, is suggestive that, that eventually... You know what I'm saying? We're coming down to the wire on this thing. But I, I do not know. I do not believe that it's going to pop off over the weekend. So, that's my stance. If you feel differently, I respect your opinion. Just please don't blow your money. Like, people are spending their life savings and all this other madness. I mean, you know what I mean? <laughs> really? Hell, shoot me over a couple of bucks. Anyway, sorry. Moving on. Beyonce. Dear, sweet, precious Beyonce. Or as I like to call her, bouncy. Because that's what she does. She just bounces to me. Girls who run the world. Apparently... Everybody from The Scorpion Show to Orville Redenbacher's son, Gary, has had a reaction regarding this song, this video, what she's doing, what she's been up to. That would be my phone ringing. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Shouts to my mother, who, um, called. <laughs> Big shouts to you, Mom. Let me go full screen. Yay, I'm so much bigger now. All right, so yeah, Beyonce. And all this madness that has ensued over the release of this single and then the video that was just debuted on American Idol and now you can see the full-length video right here on YouTube and the whole nine yards. Oh, Lord, hold my mule while I shout at Beyonce. No, um, okay, here's the thing with me and Beyonce. I, like... Anybody who knows me in my personal life knows that I don't go up for Beyonce like that. Not like that. I, I honestly just don't. I am a fan of singers. I love singers. And Beyonce, to me, I'm opening myself up for all kinds of hell to fall on this page. But um, Beyonce, to me, is a performer. And while I respect her as a performer, much like I respect Janet Jackson as a performer and um, the, the various other, you know, permutations of those types, Madonna, obviously huge, huge, huge fan. Madonna is a performer. Janet Jackson is a performer. Beyonce, to me, is a performer. Do I think that she can hold a note? Yes, I absolutely do. But I mean, I just give me one chick with a piano and a microphone that can blow and I'm good to go. So I, I'm not really the one to ask about it. But my whole thing is just this. <laughs> this, this reaction that people are having. Like it is this cataclysmic loss in their life. That this 
song in particular, which is a, you know, a different direction for Beyonce. She hasn't really, to my knowledge, played with, like, the electronica and, you know, a little bit of, like, auto-tuning types. I mean, she just hasn't really gone there before. But they're acting as if somebody, like, backed over their mother with a tractor. And I just don't understand the, I mean, and granted they're stands and stands are just going to be stands, end of story. But I don't get it. I don't get it. This lady is going to do just fine. She's going to make her money. She's going to throw it in the bank. She'll be on another yacht in, you know, Tahiti before you know. Like, she's not hurting. You know what I'm saying? And if this thing only sells, you know, 1.5 million copies, well, that's 1.5 million copies. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's unbelievable to me. It's so ridiculous. It's so beyond ridiculous. And just anybody who acts like this is such a crushing blow to their psyche, get help. I'm sorry. I just, I can't. I cannot with Miss Beyonce. I just can't. I can't and I won't. Okay, yeah, for the record, because I can see it right now, please don't think that I, like, have something in my nose. Um, I, can y'all see that my nose is pierced? Do you get the sense that my nose is pierced? Do I have to zoom? Anyway, I have a nostril screw in, and so that's the other thing that you're seeing. But I so digress on that, but just please don't think that, like, I need to wipe my nose, because I promise it's my nose ring. Um... Arnold Schwarzenegger, good old Arnold Schwarzenegger, having this child while being married to Maria Shriver. It's, it's just, it's so much. It's so many things at once. I mean, God bless Conan the Republican and all his lack of ability to keep it in his pants. I mean, you know, y'all wasn't going to get a whole video out of this. It's just, is, is anybody really surprised by this? The man was a bodybuilder. He made dumb bank off of the Terminator. You know what I'm saying? And the Terminator too. Like, I mean, you know, is anyone really shocked? Like, really, really shocked? The fact of the matter remains, I'm not. But I do find it interesting, and it's just such a, like, SMH moment that, you know, the same guy that, you know, vetoed gay marriage laws in California twice, eventually, to his credit, he did jump on the bandwagon. But it's like, it's always them. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's Newt Gingrich screaming that, you know, gays are destroying the sanctity of marriage and he's on his third wife. You know what I mean? It's, it's just so asinine to me. The hypocrisy floors me. Absolutely floors me. I don't want to hear anything about marriage from somebody who's had to attempt it over and over and over again. I'm sorry. For the same reason that you will never hear me talk about algebra because I failed the shit out of that subject. Like, you know, I just, your, your opinion is, is so unnecessary. Like, really unnecessary. Sit there, keep it to yourself, talk amongst your friends. You don't need to broadcast it to the world. I, I'm just, yeah, it's unbearably ridiculous to me. But yeah, that's, that's in essence my time. <coughs> I'm not going to keep y'all forever. It is a lot going on, but it's just not something that required. You know what I mean? You know I try to give y'all like, you know, more or less the exclusive stuff or, or what I'm really, really passionate about. And I've just been kind of looking at the news lately like, oh, you know what I mean? It's, it's just not worth. Now, of course, now that I've said that, something's going to pop across my desk and I'm going to be like, oh, hell, watch me eat my words. Open mouth, open mouth, insert foot here. Yeah, there we go. But um, that's where it's at for me, y'all. You know I'm going to be back soon enough. So with that being said, until next time, YouTube, as always, one love.